I'd like to thank everyone for coming and watching my first YouTube video. Uh, please have patience with me. This is so much harder than actually working on the electronic gear. As you probably know, Doug over at Mosslack and I have seemed to become addicted to AM transmitters. There's not an AM transmitter design we found, I think, that I haven't tried to take and build. Let's take a look at uh, exactly what constitutes an AM transmitter, and then we'll take a look at a very simple one. As you can see in the diagram here, in an ideal AM transmitter, you have a constant carrier wave, constant frequency carrier wave. And then you take and you add your audio to it, and all the audio does is just the amplitude, you know, the, the strength of the signal, whether it's a uh, strong signal or a weak signal, and that's your amplitude modulation. It sounds so simple, and yet can be so hard at times. Now let's take a look at a very simple AM transmitter. If you look at the schematic here, you see I have it blocked off as modulator and oscillator. If you look at the oscillator, we see it's a modified coal pits oscillator. It uses the three 1 nanofarad capacitors on the one side, the three on the other side, and it's split with a single inductor in the middle. Uh, this particular setup takes an oscillate somewhere between 1300 and 1500 kilohertz, depending exactly on the value of the components. On the left hand side we have the modulator, which is basically just feeding the signal in through the one microfarad capacitor, the 100 ohm resistor, into the power train. Your 9 volt comes in through the 27k resistor, and then comes to the junction of where the audio comes in, then goes through the 1K and out. This, mod, uh, this uh, transmitter uses very little power, uh, measured at, at 300 microamps. So a 9 volt battery would last you about 34 days of constant broadcasting with it. Uh, the way this works is that you're, uh, you have your constant oscillation from the oscillator with the voltage coming in from the, through the 28K, the 27K, and the 1K. And then as your audio comes in, that's going to take and increase the voltage from the 1K resistor on slightly. So that takes and provides your modulation. Now let's take a look at the circuit assembled on a small perf board. On the left hand side you see the oscillator, you have your transistor, above that to the right is the inductor. Below it you have the base capacitors and the collector capacitors. If you want to lower the frequency, all you have to do is add one more capacitor on each side. On the right hand side you have the modulator circuit, which is just the input jack the one microfarad cap and the 100 ohm resistor. Very compact, easy to hide, you know, if you wanted to take and, for instance, take and install it inside an old radio so you could plug your MP3 player into it to take and play. Now let's go out and we'll see what this sounds like. Okay, now here we have it set up on a 9 volt power supply and I'm feeding it off my tablet and the only antenna is the red clip lead that I just have laid up on top of the radio. Let's see what it sounds like.
Okay, and there we have it. Uh, I think that has nice clean sound. And like I said, this is an ideal way if you have a, an, an old radio that you want to take and hook up so that you can take and play an MP3 player or something else through it. Uh, very small and compact and uses very little electricity. I'd like to thank you all once again for joining me with my first YouTube video that I promise to take and try to get better in the future. Thanks again. Goodbye.